Background engineering is the, um, the aspect of civil engineering which really deals with the, the underlying ground conditions and I guess trying to understand the, what the materials are and how they, how they behave and their characteristics and, and then just how they influence the design. There are three main ground conditions or, or formations along the project area. There's a series of materials around the Wellsford area called the Northland Alochthon materials and they're really composed of two different, two different uh, geology types. One's really weak shattered mudstones and you may know it locally as um, Onorahi Chaos materials. Um, these are quite unstable or notoriously unstable materials. There's also another um, part of the uh, Northland Alochthon materials which are relatively stronger limestone uh, materials which form some of the more gentle slopes around Wellsford in particular. Uh, there's a third, third main geology type which is um, soft uh, sediments um, which are silts and clays basically in the low-lying, real flat low-lying areas and where um, they've been deposited by, by water. By the very nature of the, the geology, it influences the, the root selection. So the uh, park formation, the, the stronger or relatively stronger rocks of, of that formation uh, underlie the, the steep terrain through the dome. Uh, and so there, uh, by, by its nature, it's crossing lots of valleys and, and uh, uh, ridge, narrow ridge lines, so the terrain's a lot steeper through, through that. Um, the, the other aspect is the, the Northland Alochthon rocks, um, as we mentioned the Onorahi Chaos is, is notoriously unstable and um, so some areas of uh, Onorahi Chaos material around uh, and east of Wellsford in particular um, show some really um, higher zones of, of instability and ground movement and so that's really, really look to um, avoid areas such as, uh, as that in the, in the engineering process. The indicative route is aligned up a valley to the west of State Highway 1 um, and uh, distancing itself from, from some of the issues that really affects the existing State Highway 1 at times as well. The indicative route uh, actually look, has avoided a, a large area um, just to the, to the east of Wellsford which is a really steep terrain called, uh, and composed of the Onorahi Chaos material. So it's, it's avoided that almost completely and, and really taken advantage of, uh, I guess, the more stable uh, limestone uh, geology around the area, around Wellsford and up, up around T Tahana, as well as um, it being on much more gentle terrain uh, through that limestone dominant area. It, it does mean that the um, engineering measures are a lot more simpler to deal with. There's going to be a lot less earthworks uh, cuts and fills will be, be much uh, smaller scale through that sector uh, because of that avoidance of that, um, that unstable terrain as well. The indicative route really avoids um, some widespread and extensive areas of landslides in the dome in particular. These, you know, but crossing these areas would, would require some quite significant engineering measures and um, an element of ongoing risk to the resiliency of the project. So the next steps in the project and things that will be done in the future will, will involve further investigations and assessments of the geotechnical conditions and the characteristics of the soils, specifically at each location.